what's going on beautiful people this is denzel and in today's video we're going to be going about to create procedural sparks in blender all right now this can be used for various effects and to add some more uh dynamic uh presentation to your models so if this still sounds interesting guys let's create some procedural sparks all right so i've simply added a plane and divided my windows into uh the 3d viewport and a shader editor all right now i'm going to change add a material and change the blend mode to alpha hashed and with the default material i'm going to hide my overlays and let's begin all right now i changed the world uh, the color of the world to black so that we can see the effect clearer so we uh you will see what i mean as we progress so let's go ahead and add hit ctrl c with the uh, principal bsdf selected and swap that node for a uh, noise texture all right now with this noise texture we're going to try to isolate the color channel and we want it to be black and white so we can use that for our alpha all right so we just add a color ramp and plug that into the base color all right now we'll crunch up the, the values so we have something very uh, sharp with high contrast. Something around here should do. Just play with that until you see something you like. And now I'm going to use the object texture coordinate and you can see the effect that has. In my opinion, it looks better. All right, now we can progress and we can just play with the scale on the noise texture to get the amount of sparks we need. And I can just plug the color from this into our alpha slot, all right, alpha channel. So just wait for that to load up. And we can change the color of the emission and give it something uh, that looks like sparks, basically. Now we can change the... Uh, we can work on the values a little bit because they seem too blobby, in my opinion. So we can just give them sharper look. All right now we can play with the scale to see how much of sparks we want and these sparks seem too uniform so we're going to do something now we'll duplicate the noise texture and mix that we're going to mix that with the uh what's it called the mapping node all right so this just adds a lot of variation to the mix and we can change this to overlay all right, I can see the variation. It just adds, giving it more of a spark effect. Now, I just play with some of the values to look for something that I like. And this is completely up to you, but you can do whatever you wish. Just play with the values until you get something that looks uh, visually appealing to you. Now, I'm just playing with the emission, the emission uh, increasing the strength. And if you increase the strength a lot so we have uh, like the type of effect the fire would have there's something pretty high but not too uh, over the top And since we are using EV, let's go ahead and turn on Bloom to add that lovely Bloom effect. Now, another thing you can do, which I did not do in this part of the in this video, is that in the color of the emission, you can increase the value to a to something greater than one, and it'll add some more glow effect to it. All right. So the rest of this, I'm going to be I'm going to just be playing around with the settings and do a bit of animation as well. So uh thank you guys for watching uh, you can watch up until the end to see how to get some really cool effects but that is basically the setup 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I never take your time for granted. If you like this video, do well to click subscribe and let me know down in the comment section what you thought of the video and what else you would like to see. And that this has been really fun, guys. But until next week, stay safe, guys.